Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm going to show you what you can do with the Robotron and uh, Ableton. You can control, actually, synth, of course. That's dedicated to controlling synth. But you can also control Ableton. So I'm on MIDI channel 1 on the Robotron. I have up to 16 channels. I can switch back and forth that way with those two uh, switches. So I chose to control uh, Ableton uh, controls with MIDI channel 1, but it can be any channel. So right now, play, next, and previews, and those three switches here will control Ableton. Uh, let me show you how. So if I hit play, I'm playing my song. I go to next to go to the next marker. I can zoom in, zoom out to see the whole song. I can fold the tracks and unfold them. Go to number two, three, etc. And I can stop it here. So let's go back to marker one and hit play. Fold it. And let's say I want to hear this organ right here that is playing. Let's say I want to tweak it. I have it right there. Well, this, let me stop it. This uh, instrument is on channel two, MIDI channel two. That's uh, how you do it here. You choose MIDI channel two. And because the Robotron. Now I switch to MIDI channel 2. Uh, I can control that plugin, you know, that sound. Let me go back to the arrangement view. Let's solo it. And uh, let's hear it. I go back to MIDI 1. I'm going to play it. You can see that I was on marker 1 to start the song where I want it to start. If I go to two, there's no more organ. So I go back to one and it's playing. And now I can, you know, tweak it. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm on, I was on MIDI one. So now on MIDI two, and now I can and solo everything. Let's solo it again because this is not a, a very loud, you know, sound. But you can choose, uh, you know, whatever volume you want for it. You know, you can control it just like a regular synth. So all these parameters are the most common for all the synth on Earth. You know, like filters, envelopes, mixer, oscillators, LFO, amp. Plus you have six extra uh, assignable knobs for anything you want, plus switches. So it's very powerful. You can do a lot of things with this little beast. And you can, of course, use previews next and play for your synth. That's actually the main, uh, that was the main purpose of those patterns. So let me stop Ableton. Let's go back to marker one, for example, uh, just to know where we are and go back to MIDI number two. And now I'm playing, I'm not playing Ableton anymore. I, I play the, the synth. So now I can control the synth from here, I can actually change the presets and tweak them. So the flow, the creative flow is very fast. So, you know, you can play your song, you know, go back to MIDI one, play your song. Now it's soloed, so, and you can change your preset to try different things. You go back to two. And you can play with the presets and sculpt your sound. That's it guys, hope you liked it. 